Hi, I'm Marley Bird. I'm a knitting and crochet designer and teacher, as well as the host of the Yarn Thing podcast and the Marley Bird YouTube channel. In this technique, I'm gonna give you the down and dirty on how to do some crochet short rows. For this technique, you're going to need a crochet hook and some worsted weight yarn. I've went ahead and chained 25 chains and then did two rows of single crochets. So I have a total of 24 single crochets. I'm on row three and all I wanna do to begin working my short rows is do single crochets all the way down to the last stitch, leave the last stitch unworked and turn my work. If you're reading a pattern for actual socks, you will use the numbers that the pattern indicates. For the example today, as I said, I'm just working with 24 stitches and then I'm working back and forth, making sure that I stop one stitch short every row until I get to 12 stitches. That will be the center of my heel. I'm at the end of my row, there's the last stitch. I'm going to stop before I do that stitch, chain one and turn and just repeat all the way back and I'm going to stop one stitch short of the end of the row on this row as well, until I get to where there are only 12 stitches. At this point, you have a really cool looking trapezoid. This is actually half of your heel. If you imagine the heel of your foot would go right there, and this would follow along, right along the bottom of your foot and your arch, and we're getting ready to complete the top part of this. To do that, we're going to work across these stitches, and then each row, we're going to join to the rows below, working our short rows longer. For these rows here, we worked short rows, so we came in, and now we're gonna gradually go back out. I'm gonna change colors so that you can better see what it is I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and join with a slip stitch and work a row of single crochets. I'm gonna work this whole row all the way to the end. And when I get to the end, that's when I'm gonna start building out on these short rows. What I'm going to do essentially is I'm going to work into the skipped stitch a couple rows below. And by doing that, we are going to join the other half of this trapezoid to create the nice heel. I'm at the very end here, and this is where I'm going to come all the way down here to this skipped stitch, go into it, yarn over, pull up a loop to work my single crochet. And then to finish this off, I'm gonna go into the side of this row and work a slip stitch, okay? That slip stitch is gonna take the place of my chain one. So when I turn, I'm not gonna work into the slip stitch, but I'm gonna come up here to this single crochet and work single crochets all the way back. So I'm gonna come all the way back to the end of the row, which now, if you've been doing your math correctly, you have you had 12 single crochets and we just added one, so now we have 13. And we're gonna add another one at the end of this row, several rows down. But I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do to make sure I don't get a big old hole in my heel, cause you know, nothing worse than getting a hole in the heel of your sock, especially in a pair of socks you just completed. I'm here at the end and the bottom or the skipped stitch that I need to work to is way down there. So I have all of this space. Instead of creating extra stitches on accident by putting a single crochet into each one of these spaces, I am going to work a single crochet three together. If it works fine for you to do a single crochet two together, you could do that as well. But what this is going to do is I am going to be able to pull all of that together into one stitch. So I'm left with one top of the V, top of my stitch, but I don't have a gap there. I go ahead and finish off by putting a slip stitch in the side of this, the row below, and I turn and carry on. So I go ahead, if you notice, I've skipped the slip stitch, and I'm gonna single crochet all the way back. To complete our little swatch here, I'm gonna keep doing this until I get down to the very last row, always adding an extra stitch into the skipped stitch and then a slip stitch into the next row over. If I ever come to a point where I need to close a gap, I'm gonna go ahead and do a single crochet two together or three together. Once again, if you're following along in some other pattern, follow along with those instructions and fill in the spaces as they indicate for you to do. Once you complete all of this, you're gonna be left with a really great looking heel. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. I've done four rows here and I've 
put it down, you can see it's already wanting to cup on itself. And depending on which direction your sock is working, it will cup either way. It'll all work out according to where your stitches are on the sock for your foot and your heel. If we take this and we look at it more miniature, this is what a completed heel would look like. You can see each side is the same, but they're joined at these points by the single crochets we did and the slip stitches. So it creates a three-dimensional shape. Now you know how to work crochet short rows. They're very useful for doing a short row heel in a sock, doing darts in a garment, or you can make an entire shawl using just short rows. They're very useful and fun to do.